Welcome back to the One API channel. In previous videos, we've seen how to detect which platforms exist in my system and which devices are there in each platform, but how to choose the right device, how to assign a work to this specific device, and what if I want to choose several devices. The way you communicate with a device in SQL is using a queue. A queue is an abstraction to which actions are submitted for execution on a device. When you construct the queue, you assign it to a device, only to one device. A queue is bound to a single device, so we know where everything is being executed. If you have several devices in the system, each of these devices will probably have a different queue associated with it. Once a queue is bound to a device, all you have to do is to submit the portion of the code to be executed on that queue. The management of the tasks in the queue, the synchronization are all managed by the runtime. Multiple queues can be bound to a device, here to the CPU for example, but a single queue cannot be associated to two different devices. These are the platforms and devices I have on my laptop. I've shown it in previous video. An FPGA emulator that is supplied with a base toolkit. I have a CPU, a GPU that I can access via OpenCL backend or using one API level zero backend, and the SQL host device. And this is a very simple program. I'm using SQL and I'm asking for a queue and assign it the meaningful name queue. Once I have that queue, I look which device is connected to this queue and print it out. And the runtime chose for me the GPU. This is my platform number four, my GPU with a 1API level zero backend, which makes sense to be chosen as an accelerator if I haven't asked for something specific. And now I'll ask for a specific device. You can see in the SQL reference card, there are predefined selectors for CPU, GPU, host, and more. And I'll just ask for the host. Yes, I can offload, sort of speak, tasks, to my host as well. And when I'm asking for a queue attached to my host, it is connected to my CPU, my platform number two. And I can of course ask for several queues, my host queue bounded to the host, my GPU queue serving the GPU, and so on. And since I know everything about the system and the devices, I can also build a custom selector and ask for only a GPU from this specific vendor that support double precision floating point and has at least 20 execution units and so on. So this is how to construct queues and attach them to specific or default devices in the system. Now we have to talk about how data is exchanged and managed. See you next video.